Perplexity just launched a handful of new features that are going to blow your mind because they just launched a brand new email assistant that can handle both your calendar and your email. They finally launched memory that you could turn on and so much more. And by the end of this video, you're going to know what each and every one of these changes are, how you could use them, and how to get them set up. Update number one is now when you come into Perplexity and you come over here and click on the left hand side, you're now going to see assistant. This is where you're going to be able to set up your email and calendar assistants. You can come in here, you can add a full name you can add an organization here if you have one and then you can come down here and modify all the different settings here for example if you want to change your meeting availability you could come over here and change that personally I don't like meetings on Friday Saturday or Sunday so I just have it from 1 p.m. to 6 p.m. on most days well actually I have it for that on Monday and then all the other days I have 1 p.m. to 5 p.m. you can see you could just toggle this you could change this if you want to change this if you wanted to put a gap or something like that you're more than welcome to do that in addition to that, you can change the meeting length. So we can come over here and choose how much of a buffer you have between meetings and the default meeting duration. If you wanted to customize this at all, you could literally come in here and customize it to just a few minutes. Now, if you come over here, you could change your time zone, you could change meeting location. So if you do have offices or something like that, you can set these preferences here. If we scroll down a little bit more, you're gonna see autonomy level. So this will actually go through and send meetings to people, but you can choose how autonomous it is. You could have it be fully autonomous, you could have it do it before scheduling times or before proposing times, which is incredibly helpful. Now this is the scheduling agent. There's also the email automation agent, which will automatically draft things out for you. It'll automatically label things for you. And if you wanna change different labels and categorizations, you could come in here and you can change these if you wanted to. In addition to that, you can come over here to personalize your assistant. So if you have specific preferences for how your assistant should handle emails or scheduling, you could come in here and tell it this. For example, if you wanted to draft out replies to things, tell it to do it here. If you wanted to end your emails a certain way, tell it to do it here. If you wanted to ignore certain emails, tell it to do it here. And then you'll see that if you ever wanted to, you could disable this. But essentially what this is going to do is disable all the email processing, labeling, and automated drafting features. Now, so here's what this looks like when I come into my email now. You can see that all my emails now have this label right here. So I could see what's a meeting update, I could see what's a notification, I could see what is a cold email, and pretty much it'll classify all of my different emails based on all of these different settings right here. In addition to that, what this also gives you access to is this perplexity assistant. So it's assistant at perplexity.com. This is going to have access to you and your information and you can have it do a bunch of different things. For example, you could loop it into any email thread or send it the details, participants, purpose, preferred day slash times, virtual, in-person, duration, and it can actually go through and schedule out meetings for you. It can check your calendar. It can confirm whether or not the time slots are actually going to happen. It can even reschedule things for you. And you can see, you could talk back and forth with it and even tell to do things. For example, please schedule the second one and schedule it with this person right here. And then you could see that it actually went through and emailed my other email to see what time we should end up meeting. So essentially what this is going to do is help speed up how much time you're spending with scheduling and how much time you're actually spending with your email. Now I found this to be a great help but to be completely honest with you, it is a little bit glitchy. I've got 47,000 emails in the email that I've set up with this right now. It's gone through like 50 of them so far in a few hours. So that's kind of slow, but I'm excited to see what this actually looks like tomorrow morning when I wake up, because hopefully there are a lot more emails that have actually been handled. But remember, this was only one of the updates. There's still several more. Now, before I get into the rest of the updates, like how you could set up memory on Perplexity, how you could get it to connect to a lot of your favorite apps, and even how to have it schedule out tasks inside of those apps, I wanted to remind you to smash that subscribe button if you wanna get better at automating your work with AI. I upload videos like this every single day, and you're not gonna to wanna to miss them. Update number two is that you now have memory inside of Perplexity, but you need to turn it on. So if we come over here, you will see that if you come into personalization now, you'll be able to scroll down right here and you are going to see memory beta. This allows it to do three different things. One, you could let Perplexity use previous searches when answering you. Two, you could let Perplexity save and use memories when answering. By the way, if you do an incognito search, they aren't going to be stored. So if you come over here and you turn on incognito search, this will actually make sure that 
this isn't actually stored here. So if you ever want something not stored, make sure you do it incognito. But if we come back over into personalization, you'll also see you can manage all of your memories right here. If you click on this right here, this will literally go through and show you all the different things that you could possibly look at. And if you ever want one of them deleted, just delete it. But remember, once you've actually deleted a memory, you are not going to be able to recover that. So please do not delete anything that you think might be important. And if you wanted to, you could come in here and actually search through all of your different memories. Now, the third thing that you're able to do now is if you come over tasks right here, you can actually schedule out your routines so that they happen automatically inside of Perplexity. So if we come over here, you could see they have a bunch of different presets. For example, if you look at Tech Insights or Market Forecasts or News Digest or Science Report or Sports Roundup or Entertainment Weekly, you can actually schedule out these tasks now and you could see exactly what instructions it puts here, when it can be scheduled. You could do once, daily, weekly, every weekday, monthly, yearly. You could choose the different days. You could choose the times in increments of it looks like actually anything. If we come over here, we could change this like this. We could choose an expiration date. And if we wanted to, we could change how we're actually notified. So we could get notified in app, in email, and in mobile, or we could get rid of any of these that we don't want. In addition to that, we could choose what model this is going to use. So this can do a search, this can do research, or this can actually build you out a lab. In addition to that, you could come over here and choose what model you're going to be using and what sources this will actually use. Now, this is where this gets really interesting. So as we could see here, if we back out a little bit and come over here, we could describe what we want to automate right here, or we could click on this, click on scheduled, and we can tell it what we want to automate and then when we come over here, if we change sources, we could actually get this to access all of these different connectors. Now this actually brings me into the next thing that we need to talk about with perplexity and this is the next update. If we come over to connectors, you're now going to see more of these. So now you can give perplexity access to your Gmail, access to your calendar, access to your Google Drive, access to Outlook and your Outlook email, Dropbox, Linear, Notion, GitHub, and WhatsApp. So guess what you can do? If you have actions that you're currently taking right now on Perplexity that utilize any of these connectors, if you come into tasks and you make sure that that connector is going to be turned on down here, guess what? You can have it actually take actions inside of these connectors too, which is pretty crazy. They also have this academic setting, they have this social setting and the finance setting. If we click onto this, this will then take into consideration things on social media. This will take into consideration things within SEC filings, and this will take things into consideration across academic papers. Now, if you work in any of those three areas, you would just wanna turn web off and just make sure that those are turned on, and then it will only go through those sources in order to actually schedule out your tasks or to do things for you. Now, the next thing that I wanted to show, and this is actually going to be the final one that I show, is you now have purchases with perplexity and reservations with perplexity. So what does this allow you to do? If we come back over here and we come back into tasks right here, we will be able to see purchases and reservation. This is going to allow us, if we click on get started right here, to provide us with the ability to actually buy things for us. So that you can find the perfect item with perplexity. It will then purchase it on your behalf. By the way, shipping is free if you do this. You'll receive an order confirmation once the order has actually been placed and you'll be able to track your order status straight from inside of the app. You just have to approve this. You have to give it your shipping address, your shipping phone number, and where you actually want it to build to. Now you could do this both for just buying things, like if you wanted to buy things on Amazon or if you wanted to buy a chair, whatever the case is, and you can also do this with reservations. So it can actually go through and book you a hotel or book you a flight or book you what Ever you wanted to do. Oh, and by the way, depending on what type of access you actually have with Perplexity, if you come into Pro Perks right here, they actually give you discounts for a bunch of different things. Like you could get $50 off an Aura Ring, you could get four months of good RX gold prescription savings, or you could even get things like up to $400 off of an eight sleep pod. You could get things off of Thumbtack, Legal Zoom. You can get a thousand dollar credit if you're going to be buying a house with Chase, and they have a bunch of other things. For example, get up to 35% off base rates 
in free car class upgrade with Avis and budget if you're a traveler and you do a lot of stuff like this. Literally all you have to do is come over here, just click on view right here. It's basically an affiliate link that they are then sending you there and it's giving you some pretty awesome discounts, exclusive access to things, which is pretty cool and something that I don't think a lot of people know actually comes with their perplexity membership. Also, just so you also know, if you come into preferences right here and come down, you can see AI data retention. So by default, Perplexity is going to use your searches to improve their AI models. If you don't want that to happen, just make sure that you come into preferences and you turn that off. And if you have a specific model that you wanted to use for image generation, you could come over here and choose that. For example, I wanted to use Nano Banana. And if you wanted to use a specific model for your searches, you can also turn that on right here. Not sure if you've seen the reports yet, but Goldman Sachs just came out and said that they think in the next 12 months, AI is going to replace over 300 million jobs. So my question for you is, are you going to be one of those people that's replacing those jobs? Or are you going to be one of the people that gets replaced because you didn't embrace AI? And that's exactly why I created AI Automation School that you could check out at the pinned comment below. In fact, I have special launch pricing right now. So if you want to stay ahead of what's happening in AI and you want to learn how to automate your work with AI, how to make more money with AI, how to build AI agents without knowing how to code, or you just want me to audit your personal AI workflow so we could speed things up for you, I strongly suggest that you check it out. Now, if you enjoyed this video, I strongly suggest you check out this video right here that walks you through seven brand new AI automations that you need to make sure is set up. And don't worry, these are beginner friendly. As long as you can write a prompt out in plain English, you could set these automations up. I'll see you over there.